So, all right. Are you recording? Aqu yeah, yeah. Aquaman. What? That's God. Aquaman. You just came out of Aquaman, and it is terrible. It's like <laughs> Little Mermaid had sex with Pinocchio, had sex with Avatar, and the burst spawned a rejected idea for Tron. And uh, Kevin Costner is the crazy ass uncle. Oh. <laughs> Waterworld 2.0. It was all this in 3D. I don't know about the 3D about you, but the 3D actually looked pretty decent in there. I, you know what? It, this, this 3D was actually a lot better due to the fact that um, it, it wasn't dark, which was really great. So Everything really popped out on the screen. Yeah, and yeah. You know what? I think you know why that worked so well is because I think it was like very a vibrant. Light. It was very vibrant. The scenes were a lot vibrant this time because the way the lighter oh, the scenes know. are, the better, the better the 3D works. What's, yeah. what's crappy about most 3Ds is that when you have dark movies and dark scenes, they don't really pop out as much unless they're an animated series. Another problem is that, like, you know why Avatar and Tron's 3D look so good? Because the whole entire thing is main, like, pretty much CGI. It's, it's heavily, like, uh, uh, what's, what, what am I looking for? Reliant on blue screen and green screen. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So if you go back and watch Tron 2 or Avatar, the reason those movies work so well is because half those movies are actually like cutscenes. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like they're they're definitely definitely designed for that way. And by the way, uh, my name's Aaron, and I'm from the Son of Space podcast. Uh, I'm co podcast list right now, but we'll we'll be back on soon. <laughs> yeah, January. Be on the lookout for us. But yeah. This is just something that uh, we need to do because we cannot hold our. <laughs> Our thoughts about this, dude. This 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 movie borrows from so much other movies and utilizes them pretty well to a degree. Not not necessarily a lot, but you know, one of them that sticks out to me that was almost I felt shot for shot almost was the Fifth Element with the water scene. I mean, are we going spoilers on this one? Or yeah, no? we'll, uh, we'll we'll do. Uh, so let's keep the first half no spoilers, and then on toward the later half we'll go. As soon as we get on the freeway, we'll we'll go spoilers. But as for now, like you know what, walking out of this theater, look, I'm not gonna lie, I had a good time with it, and yeah, I had too. I had fun. Uh, I don't think this movie is gonna be the movie that saves DC. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no, I, I don't, I don't though, think so either. Even though it's like it's really high rated on Rotten Tomatoes, I know we we had conversations about that in the past. Yeah, but as far as like audience and critics, like, audience critics is like rating is like eighty six, and audience is like a ninety six approval rate. I, I think what it is is just because it's fun. It's a good popcorn movie. I mean, it keeps you entertained from beginning to end, which is really good. Um. Quick pause break as we get into the vehicle. No, I think the thing about that is how do you how do you blatantly rip off the Little Mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> well, this this movie rips off a ton. I mean, you have the Little Mermaid, and well, actually, two movies. Uh, it, I mean, it has the stereotypic of, um, you know, two brothers of two different families fighting each other and stuff like that. There's tons of movies that are like that. But it's Black just, Panther? Yeah, it, it, this is basically Black Panther. <laughs> this is this is Black but, Panther. But this almost, is what it is. But almost like in a reverse role to a degree where where the king or the, you know, was... Well, the, Tachella was chosen to be king and where uh, the half-breed was the bad guy. This one, they flip it. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, so they flip it in this one. But at the same time, though, too, it's just like... The other the other person that was challenging for the throne in Black Panther was his cousin, though. So was this his one, cousin? Yeah, it was his cousin. It wasn't his brother. brother. That was, no, no, no. I always thought Killmonger was his brother. No, Killmonger was his cousin because his... his uh, his dad was the uh, the brother to the king. Oh, that's right, because he killed. Yeah, he killed his he own. He killed yeah, his own brother. He killed his own brother. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay, look. And this one right here, he's a half breed, like a muggle. <laughs> so. A oh, muggle. Muggle. There, there we go. Harry there's. Muggle. I really like the Black Mancha character. Yeah. I thought, I thought he was fucking really fully realized. I thought he was very well realized in this movie. But I don't think he was utilized as much. No, I said realized. No, I, I said no, no, utilized. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. No, I do, no you, yeah. Completely you are, underutilized. Yeah. I mean, like, if you were going to make him, like, the... I know you're, you have... 
Like it's it's hard to when you have two different villains with two different goals to a degree, almost to a degree. You and, know. Yeah, and you know what? The, the problem with that is, is that there's a link between the two, and yet there's not really closure to that link. But mm-hmm. then they leave it open for the sequel, which I guess okay, that could play that link can play into it. But yeah. I had fun with this movie, and there's like a couple moments in there where I was like, I thought he was gonna drop the Batman line. <laughs> it's like, it's okay, I don't need to go back to the ocean. I'll just call Batman. Yeah, I'm know. good. You know, what? I'm, I'm I'll glad, call Wonder Woman. I'm kind of glad they actually let, like they had the zippy one-liners down to a minimum on this one. Honestly, like I'm really glad that Unlike they did that. Justice League, where he was just cracking them off. <laughs> boom, 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 yeah. boom. Yeah, this one right here, I'm I'm happy that they they had the one-liners down to a minimum on this one. There was a few of them that were just kind of like, really, you know. But you know, like the one that's in the trailer, permission to come aboard. I mean, like, come on, like that technically wasn't necessary, but I I, I, get I it. felt like it was necessary. You needed to say that shit because you needed to open it up. That's that's his I'm Batman moment. I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll give you that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like, hey, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And I, I don't have a problem with Jason Momoa as no, Aquaman. No, I don't either. I, I think I, he's no. perfect as Aquaman. I and he makes a... Aquaman look cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? How oh, hard it is to do after that guy's been, been gotten shitting on for, like, Ever? how many years? <laughs> Since his creation, I think. <laughs> like, oh, you talk to fish? Go away. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I actually like how they did that, actually. Yeah, that really, was good. I, like how they they made it seem that that um, the the genes the not necessarily the genes of genetics they didn't really talk too much into that or anything like that. But I mean, I I like the fact that you know every so often within this you know air will come along a person that will be able to to speak to other you know creatures and they don't really hinge on that too much at all in this movie until like you when know towards middle. Yeah, when it's pivotal, and that's great, because it's not like foreshadowing. Well, I mean, they did foreshadow it, but it, it, it was one of those great underlying foreshadows that didn't really, like... No, you didn't think it was going to be, like... Prevalent to the yeah. movie. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it, all in all, it was, it was great. It was I thought it was good. Out of, D, out of the whole DC movies, though, this is still not the best. I would rank this under number two under, under Wonder Woman as a DC ranking. Wonder I, 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 for whatever fucking reason, yeah. Wonder Woman works. Why does that work? Why does that movie work so well? I, I think what it honestly, uh, one, uh, Patty Jenkins uh, is one of a gr- a really great director um, because she's done a few episodes of Game of Thrones and a few other TV stuff and whatnot. Also, she has done Game of Thrones. Yes, yes, she okay. has. She's done a couple episodes of Game of Thrones and she's done a couple of other TV stuff that that are actually some of my uh, good shows. I can't really remember right now off the top of my head, but um, one, she's a great director. Two, uh, I think they left her alone. That's that's primarily it. The the producers pretty much left her alone because like. There wasn't a lot of marketing behind that. There was a lot of fear, like, this wasn't going to work. Yeah. Know? Especially with that first trailer that dropped, and everyone was shitting on that whip. Remember? Yeah, yes. And, and yeah. then they were just shitting on the trailer. Just like, dude, this is not Dude, you were good. shitting on the fucking music, man. <laughs> the trailer. The music was kind of bad, dude. Like, oh, let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> it was. It was bad. It was the wrong... It, it was bad, dude. It was not. very, very un- Amazonian. And, and it wasn't... I mean, yeah, she was... It, it came in the well, plot point for that movie, which is why they went with that route. But yeah. at the same time, I, I didn't feel like it was deserved at toward the end because the way they used the music at the end of the movie, at the end of the trailer, just didn't sit well with me. I was like, oh, that just doesn't work right there. I mean, it works with, like, the lettering itself. I mean, if you had that tone of music and just the Wonder Woman pop up just by itself, like, that one works. But that's just about it. But I mean, back to Aquaman. <laughs> As you can tell, we don't even want to talk about it anymore. I, I want to. I want to talk spoilers about it. I'm okay, not... let's go spoilers because okay. we're on the freeway now. Okay. We're okay. On the so look, I, I like Amber Heard. I really do, and I think she's like a, a very deserving actress, and she's one that's kind of gotten a raw deal in Hollywood, uh-huh. and I feel like. Margot Robbie has kind of took in her spot in, you know, in ways of new up-and-comers. Okay. Uh, as in females. Even though Amber Heard has been around for a long time, 
I, I feel Margot Robbie is in. I think those two should have like swapped roles. You think she should have played the fucking Harley not, Quinn. Not not as in Harley Quinn and oh, her, okay, okay. but as in as in like Hollywood. Because I think Amber okay, Heard. Okay. Hollywood but, status. Yeah. Hollywood so. Status. But I think this might do this, and this was nice to see Dolph Lundgren in there. It was nice. I I fucking genuinely like loved it. Dolph see, Lundgren. Yeah, was Dolph Lundgren. He, he was her. Uh, that was her dad. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, I totally thought that was Sean Bean for a second. <laughs> I could not place my finger on that fucking actor. I shit you not. I'm like, dude, this guy looks like Sean Bean. This is not Sean Bean. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I really liked uh, Dove Lundgren in his, and it was nice to see him in there. Oh, uh, shit. I'm dying. Well, okay, so the, the kid that played, the guy that played the the, uh, the full, the, the main protagonist, the the, ki- the Ocean Master. Antagonist? Yeah, the antagonist. Patrick Wilson. That's the same guy that plays Night Owl. I mean, uh, Owl, right? From what? Yeah, yeah, same guy. Holy no. shit, he's lost so much weight. Well, when he was playing that, he had to bulk up and actually look like, you know, he was No, he big. had a dad bod in fucking Watchmen, dude. That's a dad bod, dude. Like, that huh? that was not bulk oh, up. Oh, yeah, 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 no. Because the, the whole point of that was because they were out of work superheroes. He couldn't look like he had a fucking six-pack. That makes sense now. Um, but okay, well, back to back to that. Like, I knew that it was him. The him, Jason Momoa. Like I said, was great as Aquaman. My only thing about this movie, though, like I want to spoil the shit out of it. I, th- I thought it was funny to me was like the the kissing scene, with like went to a full three sixty and the explosions in the background. Woo! Like, holy shit! Like, technically, that's thinking out of the box because it's underwater explosions, but it's nothing. Did else. you really need the kiss there? Did yeah, you really that's... need to kiss there? No, you didn't. You didn't need it there. You're in the middle of a fucking battle. Oh, not a battle, kiss. a war. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, this is a good time. And then she hops off free willy and goes, hey. Hops I... <laughs> <laughs> off free willy. He's like, you're the true king. Now kiss me. And like, all and of don't the... die, please. Yeah, don't die. And then just like, boom, boom, boom. Underwater explosions, Michael Bay style. You know what would have been better if had like, oh my like God. she went in for the kiss and then there was an explosion, like a water explosion that separated them and then it got snapped back to reality and then like, oh shit, I'm going to handle business right now. Uh, I fucking... think that would have worked a lot better. Exactly. And then save that kiss toward the end of the movie. When the battle was over. Yeah, and then that would have made much more sense. Exactly. Because then he kisses her on her fucking forehead oh, at the like, end. Like, she's like her little, like, like that's her little sister. Like, oh, all right, God. we're good. Like, no. It would have been great if you, like, like, bent her over and be like, hell to the king, baby. And then, like, did something like that. Like, that would have been great. That would have been more in line with his personality. Hell yeah. That would have been more in line. And then, you know, there's a funny part, too, that which I thought was hilarious, where uh, where uh, Arthur and his dad are sitting at a bar, and all of a sudden, like, these fucking big biker dudes oh, come up to him. Oh, like, Hey, you, you fish boy? And he gets us like, yeah, I'm, I'm a fish man. What's up? And he reaches into his vest. He's like, can I take a selfie? <laughs> He's like, I guess. Don't touch me, okay? And the other guy behind him touches him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh, my God. This this movie was... That part was actually funny. And the pictures that were taken, like, while they were all getting drunk was fucking hilarious. Because yeah. I've had those nights <laughs> with my Trash Panda crew. <laughs> it's like, man, I got to retrace my steps. Where did it all go wrong? Exactly. <laughs> It, it, it was funny too though back to the part where I was talking about like the fifth element part where like you know they put the fucking obelisk fucking thing onto the, the machine and it's like oh we need water and we pull it from your from your forehead and then drip it onto the fucking thing yeah like in the fifth element yeah. what takes a rag wipes it on his forehead squeezes it onto the fucking like stone and it opens up Oh, you know when I saw that scene. So when they went to the Sagara yeah. to look for the uh, the map or whatever. Yeah. You know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of Transformers Two when they were looking for the Ospark, and when they got it, like it turned to dust. <laughs> so you gotta believe, and you that's gotta when believe. it'll come back. 
Yeah. And I thought that's what the, that's the kind of shit that they're going to try to pull. It's like, uh, oh, I got to believe that this works. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? This movie is not as bad as it seems, but it's enjoyable. But there's just, like, things in here where it's just, like, I do not fuck with at all. I really like Black Mantra. Yeah. I thought he was a really good villain. And I kind of wish he was more, like, the main antagonist. Yeah, yeah. Because to me... more prevalent. Because, like, the way it's set up, like, really made it seem like, I'm going to fucking get you. Yeah. And it's just like, no, he's just sitting around waiting for new tech to come by. Well, he was waiting. And then I don't know... See, another another plot point, too, that kind of bugs me is... How does he know about the Atlanteans? I'm pretty Did sure. his grandfather discover them on the way out and he made a deal with the old king? Did like it's like they knew each other, you know what I'm saying? It's probably you know what, I'm pretty sure it has to hinge on something from the past from his great grandfather because the whole manta, his sub, like all that stuff does seem like it's somewhat like technology of Atlantean. So like it, there's something that they're not telling us with this movie that we need to put the pieces of the, of the puzzle together. Sequel. <laughs> you, yeah, exactly. You know, because like the government had this special uh, submarine. Frogman, yeah. You well, know that also, was a, it yeah. was a stealth one. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did have something of Atlantean technology and they built that sub out of that technology, and so they stole it. And the whole manta ray uh, thing, I'm pretty sure, is because of the black ops specials within the government that. You know, like his father was from World War Two and decided to take on his own. You know, yeah. to decide to do on his own or whatever. So there might be, there might be, just like you know, speculation. You know, with the that's new, that's kind though. You know, with the new <laughs> Wonder Woman movie coming out, they might, they might touch a little, very little bit about it. There might be 80, some kind well, of Wonder Woman two comes. Uh, that's nineteen eighty four. Yeah, so his father fought, uh, his great grandfather fought what? Uh, World War II? World no, War, no, World War One, as we no. said. He said World, World War One. No, he said World War One. No, he said over the Pacific. It's he's, World War Two. No, he said World War One, dude. No. They were all veterans, but then he went back to the seas. Oh, but his, da- but his dad was He war- was World War Two. Uh, uh, well, or yeah. Vietnam or whatever. Yeah. Well, they were all veterans. The point is that they were all Navy. They were all Navy SEALs, and they were all frogmen, and they all did missions. Yeah. And that's when they all became like little pirates. You know, when I first saw that, I thought they were going to be Somali pirates. Honestly, I was like, that's a little high tech for them. And then, they, then like when you're when he's talking about the history about yeah, it, yeah, and then you're like, now. oh shit, like okay. Yeah. I I don't know. I mean, like we there might be some subtle references to that, probably frog jumps or something like that in Wonder Woman. But I'm pissed off that, that we did not wrong. get no Lex Luthor. <laughs> not even in the post credit. I'm p- very pissed off. Why the fuck are you gonna burn Lex Luthor and Deathstroke at the end of Justice League, but not fucking use Lex Luthor to recruit Black Mantra? Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's like, hey, I got an idea for you. I think you might be interested. I think that I think they didn't do that because I think they're separating now from the whole team up thing. See, that's that's the thing that kind of bugs me because you set this whole world up. Yeah, after and yet, after Justice League failed, they decided not to do the 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 third one. I but think. yet they acknowledge it, though. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they will. They'll continue to acknowledge it. They're gonna still do it, and they still might have like team up where like maybe one day Flash and Batman, Aquaman and Cyborg. But I don't think that you're gonna do another Justice League until like the right time. Oh no, possibly. it's not even that. It's more. It's more along the lines about you know I want to see the, that character go through these movies, like their solo movies, and recruit these bad guys. Yeah, and then because yeah. that because to me I feel like that's the way that's the reverse Avengers movie. Yeah, and yeah. that's how you would recruit that these bad fucking guys to go after the Justice League. Or yeah. whatever, you know what I mean? Oh, that'd be that'd be sick though. That'd be really, really sick, you know, to have like a group of And why villains. the fuck aren't we movie producers? We can fucking book better shit than this. <laughs> Cause we don't follow trends. That's why. I mean, 
come on, like Mara was totally a fish out of water. I mean, her that, whole thing was honestly, like Ariel like I said, from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, like, like I said, said in the you theater. Said that. Yeah, you yeah, like said I said, that. she's fucking Ariel. Period. She is, that dude. she is motherfucking Ariel. Well, she was that on the land. Uh, on the land, you know, you can tell she was totally a fish out of water. Yeah. You know, I mean, like all she needed her to do was to fucking sing. You know, a part oh of my, my god. World. If she would have broke out in song, I would have walked out. Oh my god. I would have walked the fuck out. <laughs> period. And, I mean, come on. And and they tease Pinocchio too. Like, I mean, let's, let's talk let's go to the references. Pinocchio, you know, uh, Little Mermaid, Little you got, Mermaid, you got Fifth Element. Fifth Element. Fucking Tron with the fucking oh city. Oh my god. No. You got Tron with the city and Tron. the music. And the music. And the music. Well, actually, not the music so much because the music wasn't so, like, uh, like tech. It, 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 well, it yeah, you're right. It too techy for me. But it, but it did sound like, you know, some 80s shit, though. Yeah, I With do, the synth and all yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. But, like, the music also... Is, what's the best way? Also fucking Wakanda. <laughs> But to, to, but to I be like, fair, but to I be fair, forever. but but to be fair, both of those movies actually Aquaman was shot way before Black Panther, so no, I got you, I got so, you. So you know, but probably I mean, Black Panther ripped off Aquaman for all we know. But okay, so back to the music real quick. I, I'm just saying that when when uh, Arthur and Mara are fairly like first time coming into Atlantis, that music felt a little bit Tron to me, but it also felt like um, other other movies. Uh, with that same type of score, I've heard that score before in other movies. Within probably, the last they probably years. got like the they probably went to YouTube and found like free licensing. <laughs> <laughs> probably, but I mean, there's there's a certain beat that's underlining in that in that song that's that plays a lot in other movies. So I mean, like, it's not necessarily copying it, but it's just really like it's paying homage, dog. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> but I mean, it. it it does that a lot. A lot of the music is really cool. I, there's there's a couple songs that kind of felt a little out of place. What the uh, fuck was that song when they when they were doing the uh, the pitbull song? What the fuck was that? The dimple song? The pitbull song? Oh, I don't know. They, well, what the fuck was that? Like, you serious? Was oh, wasn't that? I think it's that when Black Manta was doing his suit when he was fixing his suit. Oh no, I, I didn't mind that because actually I felt that that song actually fit. It's the yeah. one where they were, when they escaped Atlantis. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to talk about this. I got to talk about this. I got to oh talk about God. this. I gotta talk, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Who the fuck knew Atlantis was off 500 miles off Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts? <laughs> was it really? That's what I got from that. <laughs> if you look at the movie... In the in the relation of Boston and Atlantis, they seem very fucking close. That's true. Like so, everyone needs to look in the Atlantic Ocean for Atlantis, and of course, probably it's called Atlantis because it's probably in the Atlantic Ocean. That's what I'm probably guessing. I'm not motherfucking a history buff, and I don't read books or anything. But that's my motherfucking guess. And the queen's name was Atlanta. <laughs> Does that's no true. one find that funny? My Atlanta. <laughs> Does no one find that funny? Because I fucking find that shit hilarious. I think they just try using a lot of things. I just like, you know what sounds cool? Let's just keep going with Atlantis. Like, Atlanta touch kind I'm of I'm surprised stuff. they didn't rip off the Futurama gig. I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of waiting for SpongeBob and Square and uh, Patrick Starr. And I was Thor. actually waiting for the Coca-Cola company to be underwater leaking Coke. <laughs> and it mutated all the, the fish. Futurama reference. Yeah, dude. I honestly, I was honestly waiting for that. Honestly, I, I, I... And I got Avatar from the indie. Uh, yeah. I can kind of see that, too. Yeah. That was complete Avatar. Yeah. You know what's funny? Also, too, is that, uh... I, I really felt like the, 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 the seven... Like, the, the, the different tribes, the different kingdoms... I really felt... They dropped the ball on that. I think so. I They really did, honestly. I, I feel like they dropped the ball it, on that. It really felt fantasy-wise, like... The, the, the crustacean crab people were the fucking goddamn dwarves and the fish people were like the high elves and, and the, the well they were actually mermaids but whatever close enough um, don't be discriminative Aaron <laughs> whatever <fucking> <laughs> <ass>. <laughs> And then, like, the... What is it? The, and Dolph Lundgren was the Germans. <laughs> the Germans. You mean the Russians, right? The Russians. Like, yeah, I yeah, break you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hence her red hair. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, no, 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 but that, I, I forgot what the, what the other fish people were. The, oh my god, what the hell were they called? The ones that were there being, being attacked on the boat. Oh, the, uh, the trench. They were the, trench. the trench. Yeah, the trench people. Like, I felt like they were, like, uh... I actually dig, I actually dug their fucking design. Yeah, I did, too. That, I that actually just, dug their fucking like design. Like, the skinny version of orcs, I guess you would say. Yeah. You, you know? I, and so, like, it, it, it really felt fantasy-wise that way. And, you know, I, at the same time, though, too, like, I, I'm surprised, like, the Murd people didn't, like, revolt. Like, they had an They were pussies! I that guess. was fucking clear! Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That but was still. clear. But when he walks up, when, when you have someone walking up into your own kingdom, challenging you, and then he turns you down, you walk up and fucking kill him in front of his guards and in front of his family, and not one motherfucker decides to jump in. Even though they try to, the fucking fucking makes quick waste of them. Yeah. But that just goes to show that they were fucking pussies. They were pushovers. That's true. And I was like, oh, dude, that fucking, that, that sucks. I know. And then you put the whole weight of this kingdom on this poor kid. Yeah. And, like, he wasn't even, like, you know, that sucked, too. Because, like, he's like, oh, Arthur's king. But it was never like, oh, my dad. <laughs> you know, it's just like, holy shit, like, totally, like, forgot about it. Uh-huh. You know, and it's like, that's not cool, man. Like. I honestly think that they dropped the ball with the with the seven kings because they didn't really like go in depth. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, the se- I felt like that story could have been a potential sequel. I felt I felt like that could have been the sequel to Aquaman. Mm-hmm. But by having the half by having the the half brother mm-hmm. arranging the seven kingdoms to go to war. Yeah. And I honestly felt like, yeah. you know, had they made this story about Arthur trying to find the trident and then, you know, relinquishing the throne because he wants to be a surface dweller, as they call them, mm-hmm. and his fight with Black Mantra, I felt like that could have been a much solid story. Yeah. I think that could have been a better... I think that could have been a better movie, and it couldn't... And it would have been action packed, and the stakes were real because, you know, again, you would still have the brother backstabbing Arthur, mm-hmm. you know, working against him. But at the same time, you wouldn't have had to force that that storyline, that plot point. Yeah, I feel. I feel like yeah. I feel that that Seven Kingdom storyline was forced. Yeah, I, I I think it was also a little misleading, honestly, too, because like, it, you would think he would actually unite the actual seven, you know, bring back the round table and and talk to everyone to actually unite these kingdoms. Yeah, you know, and it, it didn't it didn't feel that way at all. He only got like fucking what one kingdom to unite with him, and then the other three, the others, he fucking just took by force. Yeah. Well, the half brother did not. Uh, Arthur. Yeah, the half. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck was his name again? I, Fake Poseidon. Yeah. Poseidon. <laughs> 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 I, I, you know what? We we shat on the the uh, the water scene for on Justice League. This one was actually a little bit better. I can totally tell that they paid a lot of attention to detail on this one. Like in a sense where, um, the the. What's the best way to put it? So I'm pretty sure they actually had real people underwater making the same movement for a certain amount of time, for certain scenes, because, like, the CG... I know that wasn't CG hair in a sense of... That, um, that looked like real hair. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think what they did was that the motion captured most of the hair, if not at least recorded someone physically underwater with the hair and then digitally imposed it on their head while they were behind a green screen to make it look like they were doing with it. You know, I mean, and also like the voices, how they spoke underwater took me out of the film just a tad bit, but it made sense though for the film to like, you know, maybe realize like it's understandable because they're underwater. So the way they speak underwater is going to be different. How yeah, they speak it's going to look different too. Yeah, so it, it made total sense. And what another great detail I liked about underwater are just the little shit that's flying around. Believe it or not, just like how it is underwater. Yeah. 
you know, the little crustaceans. You see, like, the air the, bubbles. The mm. air bubbles, the fucking, uh, just the shit that you see, like, in your fish tank when they shit, you know, stuff like that. It was just, that's, that's great detail. Never once is, like, you know, when they're up close talking to each other, you see that kind of level of detail, and that's great, you know, and you don't, you don't, oh, fuck, raccoons are up. <laughs> And, you know, and it's like, you don't see, of course, when the, the camera's panned out, but when it's not panned out, like, it's it's great to see something like that. Yeah, you know, I I honestly feel like this movie could have been better, but oh, yeah. I did, I did enjoy tenfold. it. Uh, I, I just think that this movie suffers from Warner Brothers having control <sighs> over yeah, their it, properties. Yeah, you have a great director, James Wan. He's made several amazing movies. Um, granted that I haven't seen them all, but, you know, he is a good director. I've heard so many people talk about how great of a person, how great of a director he is, but when you have too many people's hand in the fucking cookie jar and everyone wants their cake to, and eat it, it's just not quite possible because there's not enough fucking cake. And now we got to wait for the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> is that the next one? No, the next one is Wonder Woman, actually. Wonder Woman okay. comes out in July, I believe. All right. Is the Batman one on hold again, or what? Yeah, Batman's on hold, because they don't know what they're going to do with it. And Jared Leto is actually going to be a Morpheus in the Venom universe. The vampire? Oh, uh, okay. So I, I don't was... even know if he's going to come back as a Joker. I thought he was going to be Mysterio. Who's going to be... No, is it Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal oh, yeah, is going to be Mysterio. Mysterio. Yeah. Fuck, man. I don't know. Warner Bros. has a lot to catch up to do. And, I mean, granted, you know, people are going to love this movie. I honestly think people are going to love this movie. This oh, yeah, 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 it, yeah. It's yeah, going to yeah. make a lot of money because it doesn't really have any competition this year. I mean, it's a fun movie. It really is a fun movie. It's a good popcorn movie. But there's just a lot of shit that is just kind of questionable about the decision making that they had to put for certain scenes. The kissing scene between the battle is completely unnecessary, honestly. Like, it really is. Yeah, it is. It, like, you why know? would you do that in that point in time? I know. That's like a perfect t- uh, sh- uh, time for someone to literally shoot one of them in the back. Yeah. You know? Or fucking blow them apart. That too, you know? It yeah. just it just doesn't make sense at all. I really wish, man, he dropped the Batman line when, when, he, when she asked him. So there's a scene when they're on a boat. She steals a boat, Mara, and they're on their way to get the trident. And she's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. Then you should, you need to do this. Like, I just want to be a surface dweller. And then she's like, why not? And at the same time, I was like, I could, I could fight him on the surface. You know why? And she says, and he asked me why, because I can, I'm a better fighter or whatever. I was really hoping when he said that, I was like, because I'm part of the Justice League. (laughs) (laughs) That would have been awesome, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I would have. I would. I would have loved that. I would have fucking marked out for that. Mm. You know, this movie was great and all, but it, I, it's, I prefer Venom over this. Really? Yeah. Real talk. Really? I would. Pre- I prefer Venom over this, honestly. I wouldn't I, go that far. Me. I. I like Jason Momoa. He is not Conan. Let's be real. <laughs> He is not Conan. That movie I, was so garbage. It was. Uh, he is Aquaman, though. Yeah. But at the same time, I think I prefer Venom over Aquaman. I'm going to do you one better. I think that on the same playing field. If you say Suicide Squad, you need to get the fuck out the car. No, 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 no. And I'm going to drive no. while you get out of the car. <laughs> Please Fucking don't. roll, motherfucker. <laughs> No, 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 no. Suicide Squad, like, it's, like, bottom of the barrel. I mean, you're scraping the sludge with your fucking nails with Suicide Squad. This one, honestly, I think it's on par, if not just a tad bit above Venom, personally. Wow. I don't know. Venom was awesome, dude. Venom was hard. Well, even with Woody Harrelson in that all god-awful wig, dude, was fucking harder than that, that, than, that, than that, that red hair, that, that amber hair was fucking red, wearing. it was garbage. <laughs> I'm out of here. This is Aaron. <laughs> Signing out. Take care, buddy. All right, peace out, brother. Later. (laughs) Venom over Aquaman. All right, all right.